Okay, new box opening, new box opening. How should I uh, handle this? Um, ah, got it. I know. I'll pretend like all the crap rares that I'm pulling have some sort of value because they're rares. Uh, then when that fails, I'll talk about the expected value of the box as a whole. And then when that fails, I will talk about how I'm doing this for the community and how I'm actually doing you guys a favor. I mean, no one will really buy that amount of horseshit. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have Double Masters, the non-VIP edition, because I am not very. I am an important person, just not very. And there is a lot of air in this box, which is kind of a bummer from an environmental perspective. A lot of this is just taking up space and probably going to go to waste. So we're going to pop the top, and here's a little cardboard structure holder. Oh god, it's attacking me. Alright, here we go. And there's the fancy toppers. Uh, we'll get to that later. For now, let's get these packs out of here. I think I prefer the Modern Horizons style of boxes, where it kind of like did the split or whatever. Uh, if you can see, there's just a lot of empty room down here. Either way, no one cares. All we care about are the packs. So let's just get right into it. Uh, I am not going to be opening any VIP Bastards, Boasters. And apparently I'm not going to be opening any regular Double Masters packs either. There we go. All right, let's see how these roll out. Okay, looks like we got the commons. Okay, it's like a normal pack. All right. All right, first rare, either Sworn Canonist into a Kuldotha Forge Meister. Oh, Foil Brainstorm. Yeah, Foil Brainstorm. I didn't even need to get a VIP pack. Springleaf Drum and a Noose. Okay, so whiff on the first pack, but, you know, they're not all going to be winners. Silver Might... There are a lot of good commons and uncommons in the set. Crop rotation, not bad. Not great, but it's like, you know, you're going to use them. Reshape. And Archangel of Thune. Okay, that's the first Mechthic. Mechthic. Let's sort these rares and get these Mythics a spot. And then we got Foil and a Foiled Buried Rune. Rune, Ruin. Okay, well, one Mythic. We're off to a start. I don't want to say it's a good start, but it's a start. Mine. Not yours. The Skipple of Bullis. And a Hanna. And a Gear Dust Hulk. Oh, boy. Uh, that's our Mythic. That's a Sword of Fire and Ice. Again, didn't even need to get a VIP Beakster to get one of these. All right, that's good. That's probably, look, obviously I would have rather had it be a Force of Will or something, but as far as just random raw dogging out of a booster box, I think that's probably fine. Boon Reflection, and a Geth who comes in the Commander. That's a Mythic? God damn it. Are you serious? You're literally going to put a Mythic box tie-in Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. Well, whatever. Okay. Bone picker. All right. Kragamic. God damn it. All right. Wrath of God. All right. That's, that's useful. Beautiful art on Apprentice Wizard. Look at that. And Unlicensed Disintegration. Useful, useful, useful. Goblins. Oh, fiddle push. And we get a wound. Then a falcon. Wrath. Oh, and there's a rare. Uh, Shkarumum the Humanum. All right, so not bad. Uh, Nothing super great in the pack so far. Just kind of a lot of useful stuff, but... A lot of stuff I just didn't have handy, so that's that's not bad. I'll... Take that. Oh, Salt Monolith. 
A bluff, an ion storm, hidden stockpile, dread return. Nothing big. The lands aren't bad. I'm, I'm happy to see those just drop in value generally. Make it easier for people to put into their decks. EDH decks. No one cares about other formats. All right, Spell Skite, Basilix Caller, and not much else. Yeah, there's a lot of crap in this uh, in this set. A lot of good stuff, but uh, a lot of crap too. Um, my plan is to basically just go through and buy everything that just dropped into. Oh, exploration! I'll take that. And a maze of Ith. Okay, so I'm looking stupider and stupider by the card. Um, but yeah, my plan is to instead of buying like two boxes of this. I'm just buying one for the funsies. It'll probably be one of the last booster boxes I ever buy. Um, just because Wizards is making a lot of stupid policies and a lot of errors with these. So I'm just not super interested. Mesmic Orb and the... Oh boy. No one cares about the champion. Um, but yeah, what I'll probably do is just buy a bunch of the box hopper foils of the crappy cards. That if I don't get them, like a meddling mage or something. You know. Those are probably, what, 10 bucks by now? Doubling season, I'll take that. And a noble hierarch. Okay, so I've I've been I uh, okay, look, this set really stinks and in in no way going to get a foil force of will out of this pack right here. It's just Im it's impossible. Alright, well heat shimmer, council's judgment. Alright, that's still not bad. Do you think do you think they're listening? When I talk shit, they're just gonna give me better stuff. Is that oh has that always happened? Is that is that the wizard ninjas? Revoker, tempered steel. Oh, and a full grave cairns. Alright, that's not bad. So what's actually happening is kind of what I assumed. It you're just gonna get a lot of like stuff that you can potentially use. El Maelstrom Nexus. And a Glimmer Void. Um, and then every once in a while, you're just going to get a big hit. Which is, you know, I mean, look, that's that's just booster packs, right? So I guess what I'm saying is, these are just booster boxes. Nothing major. Mitra's Wobble, I'll take that. And we got a Hydra and a Tusker. And nothing fancy. A lot of usefulness, so, you know, that's, that's fine. I'm not going to nitpick over the value of all this stuff. There's plenty of people that will do that. Uh, usually this is just for me to add to my collection, uh, but it is just more cost effective unless I'm like just praying and hoping to get a foil force of will or something. But like, even then, like if I was really just trying to one in a hundred it, I would just be buying VIP boosters and I'm not going to buy VIP boosters. No one should. They're, they're real bad, real bad for everything. Oh, well, okay. So, not a foil. Boom. I'll take it. All right. And a duplicate. Usable. Eminently usable. Oh, and a Merit Liege. All right. That's two-thirds of the box, and I'm very pleased with how this box turned out so far. Mostly because of the force of will. Uh, I mean, you, you got to hit something big to make this really... Oh, Blasphemous Fact. And a Skungering Tiggin. Oh, and foil lightning greaves. Those are nice. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really it's really boomer bust. And being a boomer, I like busts. Did that make any sense? Let me know in the comments. No, I'm getting real time comments saying that didn't make any sense. That's that's not how that works. Nothing great. Oh, foilers is mine. There's a couple bucks. All right, we got about five packs left. Uh, you know, I guess a mana crypt would be nice. Maybe another sword. Fitted Heath is fine, and a kitty cat. Fencing Ace, nothing big. Um, so far I have gotten my money's worth, but then again, I I missed a large batch of time when a lot of these were say in standard sets. Um, so I'm I'm kind of still backfilling my catalog. And the worm quail. I'll take it. Alright, so what are the other big ones that I that I could be hitting? Mana Crypt. I think that and maybe a Jace. I mean I got a Maze of Ith, I'll use that. Austere Command. 
useful. Plus we got the two non-foil box toppers, which I think that's how I'm just gonna go about my fancy stuff. I may just be ignoring foils. Darksteel Forge, oh, that's a, that's a mythic? All right, and the Strix. And nothing much. All right, last pack. We're getting it. We are getting at it and to it. Oh God, the wrappers are falling everywhere. Sunken Runes, all right. And Jahora, nothing, nothing. Okay, so not a terrible pack, not a, not a terrible box. And let's just get right to it. I don't wanna rip anything. Okay, here we go. First box topper, Sword of War and Peace. I will take it. That looks beautiful. So that's a Mythic. And a Blood Moon. Uh, no problem here. Uh, I will take those. Yep, so there's my Double Masters. Uh, I think I may try making this into a Commander deck. Uh, kind of using all the pieces that I pulled, but I don't know who I would go with. I think maybe Joyra. Maybe, because it's an artifact set. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably make a video about it. Uh, until next time, everyone, good luck with all your pulls. Bye.